All right, all right, all right. Hello, everybody. Um, as you can see, I'm obviously not in my room. So surprise! Can you guys hear me? Please tell me you can hear me. Because the chat's just stopped. Um, so my apologies that I'm a little late. So what happened was I have been in the city for, well, it's just one night really, um, for a work event. And I'm supposed to be checking out in a couple of hours or so. Um, but then I, I woke up and I saw that the chapter was already out. The scans were, you know, already translated. I was like, what the hell? Um, I've got a pretty slow morning today. So I just figured, oh, why not? I'll, um, I'll read it in the morning and have a great start to my day. Um, because I figured by the time I actually get home, the chapter's going to have been out for so long. And most of you are already like based in America, will have gone to sleep. And then I'm going to have to wait until tonight. And it is torture for me having to wait on Friday nights, like waiting all day. Like I need to, I want to read the chapter. I want to read the chapter and still avoiding everything because like Twitter, that's when like all social media just goes wild discussing the new chapter because it's like, oh, the TCB scans are out. So like it's fair income, it's fair gain. Um, so I have to avoid things like the plague. So I figured I'll read it before I before I check out. Sekaichi, hey, how are you? It's been so long. Where are you now? So everyone, yes, the chapter is already out. Um, it's out. What? Not the official, but the unofficial scans have been out and it has been for a while. Um, on that note, because I am wasn't intending to stream at this time, I thought that I'd have my proper setup and I'd be back home in my studio, but I'm obviously not. Um, so I don't have my streaming software. So unfortunately, the chat is going to stay as it is um, with no chat on the screen, unfortunately. So I do apologize about that, um, but please do bear with me. I promise next week we will be back with a proper setup and with the chat working. Um, so it's like, basically what happened was we had a travel series of streams where I was streaming whilst traveling. And then I came back only for like two, two I guess, chapters, two weeks, two episodes, however you want to call it. Um, and then now the traveling blog continues. Oh, you're in Georgia. Okay, well, good luck. Um, what are you studying now? I thought you handed in your thesis. What, what, more, what further studies is this? In the meantime, I'm going to get my, I'm going to get the chapter out. Let's get the chapter up and running. Okay. Let me just grab some water. Sorry, that was a little bit close up. Yeah, so as you guys can tell, I'm in bed still. <laughs> There was no better place. There was no real like setup where I could do it. Um, so I figured, I told you guys, I'm having a slow morning. It's a Friday. I've been sleeping late. Um, but are you guys ready? Because then we'll start, start reading the chapter. How exciting. Someone tell me, is there a chapter break next week? There is a break. Sad. Let me just, I'm going to share this onto Twitter and to Discord so that people know. And then we can start.
What do you guys all have planned for today? So what do we mean by do reactions count as spoilers? As in like, are you guys, are you going to be giving hints and like emojis? Um, because I would say that that does count. I mean, once I get up to the part, then anything goes, but. Oh, to say like the chapter was amazing. Um, no, I don't think so. I think it'll be too much to, I think it's too much to, um, restrict that. Okay, seems like everybody's ready. So, I think we can start reading. How's the audio quality? I hope that it's not too terrible. Oh, bye, Amiri. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry that this isn't at a good time for you. Okay, that's good to hear. All right, then. Shall we start reading? I may commence, that's all I needed to hear. Okay then, reading chapter 1067, Punk Records. Like Vega Punk's records or like kids' records. No, obviously Vega Punk. Um, German Double Sixes, Cold Blooded Voyage, Volume 24. I forget, who are you again? <laughs> Judge versus Caesar. Oh, this gets interesting. Ah, the history, the legacy of Mads. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Oda's notes. So you can listen to the film read SBS by using an app called Secondary Audio Screening at any theater. I rejected it as a Blu-ray special feature. Lol. What's a film read SBS? What is that? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Anyways, uh, a most curious head. What happened to your head? It used to be like a massive light bulb. Okay, a massive light bulb is one way to put it. It was a massive nutsack. Let's not lie, Bonnie. It was getting a tad too long, so I cut it. We're not talking about hair here. As I recall, I was almost as tall as a giant when I met you. The real head size. <laughs> I heard rumors about it being big, but it was like an air balloon. Well, that's because I ate the brain bro, 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 brain flu. In Japanese, he gets tongue-tied trying to say the fruit's name, nomi, nomi, nomi. <laughs> nomi, nomi, nomi. So, okay. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. No me, no me, no me. It was a, is that real? Is that a devil fruit? Pardon me, I bit my tongue. I meant to say I'm a brainy human because I ate the brain brain fruit. It allows me to memorize an unlimited amount of knowledge. So that's the reason why he's a genius. Oh, I mean, oh. And makes my brain grow in size accordingly. Having an unlimited data bank is a handy ability for a born genius like me. Okay, so he was already a genius, but the devil fruit has just enhanced his intelligence and his capacity to retain whatever knowledge that he's already capable of learning himself. 
So it's not like he wasn't a genius already. It's just enhanced it. Hmm. Now I have the largest brain in the world and it continues to grow. Funk. Still, did you put it somewhere? That's awesome. Have you got tons of medical knowledge too, Dr. Vegapunk? Naturally. Whoa. Does that mean you're dumb now, old guy, because you cut your brain out? Don't write off a genius, you rascal. Oh, we got another classic. Only took one chapter, or well, two chapters, I suppose. Only took two chapters for the genius Vegapunk to be subject to Oda's reaction face. See this apple here? It's an antenna. Take a gander at the top of the island. Notice how it says, punk records under the giant egg? That's the hangar where I keep my brain. What? Isn't that way too big? There's no harm in me being away from it since my antenna can pick up the brain waves. That's crazy. So it's not like he split up his brain into six, into his six clones, into his six avatars. It's like kept off, off on site at another place. But it's still his brain, and it's not like he's been split up. Oh. Huh. Okay, strange. Very strange. You met a little girl earlier who called herself Vegapunk, right? That's one of my clones. There are six on the island. Ah, I was questioning things too quickly. You're a ninja? Each... I love that. It's, um... <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, that's like... That's the um, basis of their, I guess, experience with clones. Each one is a facet of myself and an expert of their own f key field of study. You'd get my full personality if you combined them, but they can get six times the work done apart. What the? So Roth is Atlas. So I'm guessing geographical knowledge. Um, Flair is Edison. So I'm guessing to do things about physics. Shaka. I, I learned what Shaka was, but I can't remember what it was. What was Shaka again? Um, I'm going to have to go back to what Shaka was. Pythagoras. Okay, so Lilith was the first one that we saw. What was Lilith? What is Lilith known for as well? It's like a biblical, it was a biblical thing though. What would, what would? be that Pythagoras mathematical and York was the was a sort of dump um was sort of the dumping ground that everyone could just force her to do anything and she could just she lives the ultimate life eat sleep and I guess poop <laughs> um each one of them connects to punk records records once a day to synchronize our memories and knowledge since their dispositions and responsibilities are so different, the wealth of their experience is that much greater. What a crazy way to live. So they all share the same brain and they just dump their knowledge. And they all, but they all share it. I wonder how that works. How do they retain their personality if they're still sharing all their memories and knowledge and experiences? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Luffy doesn't understand. He's like, this is way too smart for me. <laughs> Just give me the machine that makes me food again. <laughs> you all share the same brain? I find it difficult to wrap my head around that. Yeah, you and me both, Jinbei. Obviously, Luffy's having a lot of time um, and difficulty trying to wrap his hand, head around it. Just think of it as sharing the same library. If only I could let everyone in the world connect to my brain. All of humanity would have access to my knowledge. I wonder if that's possible. It might be possible. Sort of looks like a, um, like a cult setting right now, though, when everyone's like, or being adopted, abducted by aliens. Then, if the population of the world went on to update punk records themselves, it would create a sea of information that it surpassed what my brain can accomplish alone. Humanity would share one mind. Is he mad or is he a genius? He's both. So I'd be able to study medicine 
from all over the world. Really? Oh. But if you let everyone share their conflicting ideologies, wouldn't that lead? Wouldn't that? Wouldn't all that bias lead to trouble? You sure are a sharp one, Knight of the Sea. But science would never progress if you spent all day worrying about stuff like that. <laughs> what a unique laugh. That's your problem, Vegapunk. You shrug off sacrifices in the name of progress. That's why my dad's been turned into a heartless weapon. Whoa! Stop it, Bonnie! That beam saber is defective! It's defective? How? Oh, the lightsaber. Give it a rest. I know it cuts well enough. I tested it earlier. Shoo. Turn my dad back to normal. If you even think about saying no. Don't be hasty, Bonnie. Killing him would make you a lot of enemies. Hit the off switch, Bonnie. That beam attracts a ludicrous number of bugs. Huh? <laughs> no way. No way she's full crying. Yeah, oh, look at that. Oh, they... <laughs> yeah! Crackle, crackle. Oh. Ugh. Check it out, buddy. A giant stag beetle. Look at her foaming at the mouth. This isn't the time for beetles. Look at her. She fainted. Ah, that that makes perfect sense. Of course Bonnie wants me dead. It's ironic that one of my many failures saved me. Speaking of which, you guys were recently in Wano, correct? You wouldn't happen to know whether a dragon just like Kaido really appeared there. How did he find out already? Is it through the world government so they've already shared the information? With Vegapunk no less. Huh. It's talking about Momonosuke. Oh, you're talking about Momo! I suppose he ate the defective fruit I left on Punk Hazard. Alright, we're finding it out. We're finding out what made that devil fruit defective. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. That was an artificial devil fruit I synthesized. I made it after 20 years of research in Kaido's lineage factor. It cost countless resources. But I couldn't get it quite right oh so that's why he's the same as kaido but it worked out just fine he can still spit fire he is super strong and he's the guardian deity of wano now you really made that awesome and his color pink ah drat you see another monumental failure oh failure no way. No freaking way. Is that it? That's it because it's pink. What? 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 Why? I get it. He's a genius and a perfectionist. But, dude. <laughs> so, there is, I don't know whether to be happy about the fact that this means Momo's potential is super high and he can reach Kaido's height and there's nothing else that we have to worry about it being defective. Or the fact that we have spent this long from Punk Hazard thinking about, thinking about, you know, what's wrong with that devil fruit, coming up with all these crazy speculations. And it was just that it's pink. All right, Oda, you trolled us once again. <laughs> okay. What about this robot? You made it too, right, old man? Make it move. I'm afraid you're mistaken. This is the legendary Iron Giant. The legendary Iron Giant that attacked the holy land of Marijuana about 200 years ago. 200 years ago? Yes, but it was built over 900 years ago. What? How did that happen 200 years ago? But Marijua, so it attacked Marijua 200 years ago, but it was built over 900 years ago. 
and how do how do people not know and how did it survive so it survived the ancient kingdom what how does that work the law continues it should, its objectives remain unknown i heard it ran out of power before it could cause any casualties either way i'm sure the scientists of the time were absolutely flabbergasted such advanced technology would have seemed totally alien to them none of them could tell where it came from or what it was trying to do huh what was going on 200 years ago how did they do that anyways it seems the world government ordered its destructions but the scientists of the time couldn't help their curiosity that's why they hid it here to be passed down without the government's knowledge so it's always been a base of um scientific exploration it seems hmm interesting good job on finding this place from the town the entrance should look like a wall we just stumbled here because we were all old and senile <laughs> Yeah, we were plain old lost. Oh, that's a shame. 200 years ago. That's around the time the fishmen's the, sh the fishmen rights movement started to gain ground. Huh. That was 200 years ago? So you're saying that robot climbed the red line most likely? But where was he? Where did he come from? I guess it's, but it would be quite after the time of um, Mont Blanc, because that was in the eleven hundreds. Would it be around? Like, would it be just? Hmm. I created Vega Force Zo One based on what I learned from it. But I liked the scientific prowess to reverse engineer every aspect of it. It's difficult to believe that this mechanized soldier was made over 900 years ago. There's something even you couldn't recreate? It's power source. In the past, they had a power source that would append our most, our modern ideas of what's possible. The sun still? Is he still talking about the sun? Well, at any rate, it's good to know Luffy and the others are okay. Who's that girl though? That's Jewelry Bonnie. She's a pirate. I thought the one we saw before was a little girl. And the ve way Vegapunk's head works is crazy. I I truly did a terrible thing to Bonnie. Yeah, you should get down and beg her to forgive you, old man. <laughs> you young dolt. Like you don't know anything about it. There's something I have to give to her. Oh, what? Regardless, I feel like fate brought you here today, Straw Hat Luffy. Please, can you take me away from Egghead? Huh? Oh. Cypher Pole, we're requesting entry to Egghead Port. It's already... It's already, I don't know why I said that in a robot voice, but they, they've already arrived. Holy crap, they're already here. What poorly trained pets. Reports indicate Jewelry Bonnie was spotted making her way here too. That pest keeps slipping away from us. She served her purpose. What was her purpose? Let's just terminate her on sight. Holy crap, they've got the full force. Why do they bother wearing masks? Shaka! That's a government! There's a government ship! It'd be bad if they found us harboring pirates. What does CP0 want with us? And why did they bring Rob Lucci? I say we just hand this riffraff over. 
After all, that Lucci fellow is an assassin, right? What? Rob Lucci? Let's hurry, hurry up and give our legs back. <laughs> hurry up and give our and give us our legs back. No, that guy's still around. You can't let him in. Don't you rob, worry, Robin Chun. I'll protect you no matter how many times he comes back. Robin's like, what? Tell them to hand over the seraphim and leave. We're declining their request to dock. Huh? I doubt agents of the world government will respond well to that. So prepare for battle. See, this is my question. If they all share knowledge and their experience, why do Lilith and, like, why do they have different ideas on how to handle it? Because they all know what the world government is here for. They all know the objectives. Hmm. Anyways, Kamabaka Kingdom, Grand Line. Dragon Sun! Kuma Sun's acting weird! Kuma Sun, wait! We're trying to repay you! Kuma Sun? What's wrong? Is he still being controlled by the Navy? Kuma Sun, where are you going? You're in no state to be moving like that! What's with him? I don't know. Kuma! Kuma Sun, come back! Dang! Kuma, where do you want to go so? Where do you want to go to so bad? Stay with us. We are not done fighting. The revolutionary army is just getting started. A mad dash to where? Don don don. Chapter one thousand and sixty-seven end and a break next week. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Huh. Wow. All right. I don't even know where to wrap my brain around this. Is he going there because... Is Kumai heading off so that he can join in the battle at Punk um at Vega Punk's Egghead Island? Is he being summoned by the because they've got the Seraphim? Like how does it work? Or is it because of Vega Punk's programming? Has he programmed Kuma to help? And how did an how did how did the ancient robot survive from the void century and where was he hiding to make his attack 200 years ago this is insane i don't know where to i don't know how to comprehend this hmm. um speaking of which though okay let me come back to the chat and like you just said luffy versus luffy rematch I actually made a discussion about this. I made a video about this not too long ago, weeks ago, um, about this very topic. What would happen, you know, once the CP0 arrive and the Straw Hats are going to have to rematch again? Interesting. Hmm. Zoro is fighting Luchi. That was exactly something that I discussed in the video. So I highly recommend you to check it out. Um, but what do we think? Bonnie for next Nakama or Vegapunk for next Nakama? He knows what fate he's in. So he knew that the world government would be coming after him. So he's asked to be taken. Very, very interesting. What happened 200 years ago? What happened 800 years ago? Hmm. And what does this have to do with the Fishman Island? What do you think this has to do with? What do you think this has to do with Fishman Island? Oh, sorry, guys.
maybe the robot was hidden in Fishman Island. I mean, I think that does make sense, especially because the way that it's all rusty and rusted, so it might have been held underground. And I guess deep underground, it would be harder for it would have been harder for the world government to have found it. But what happened to like why two hundred years ago was he set on another mission? Was it to convince them to um let to like go through with the Fishman Island pro- um I guess rights movement? Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Oh, sorry, I keep yawning. I wonder what this means. I wonder if this means that now that Vegapunk knows that he really has to um leave the world government and the world government aren't going to be doing anything for him anymore. I wonder if this means that he will leave and not just join the Straw Hats but join the Revolutionary Army, and he's going to be the one to restore Kuma. And that was, maybe that was the, hmm, maybe it was part of the promise that Joy Boy made to Fishman Island as well. Hmm. Yeah, the Lunarians definitely could have something to do with it. I mean, if the robots are being protect are being powered by sun, like an energy source like that, and Lunarians obviously having some sort of connection to the moon. I don't know. I don't know. Like this all connects. This all connects. It's like I feel like my brain is doing that crazy meme of like like it's not connected. But I just don't have the brain cells right now to be able to um to be able to think of how all this is going to be working but this is very very interesting um yeah okay it seems like the connection is unstable um and it seems like the stream is not working on my end anyways is it working for you And that's also a really good point. Did anyone think that Vegapunk would be a would be a devil fruit user? I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. Hmm. Very, very interesting. I was expecting it to be like a natural talent. Oh, there was a lot of theories about it. Really, a lot of theories about Vegapunk um, being a devil fruit user. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to have to go and get ready for the day. And I'm going to have to um, check out. So I have to pack up all my stuff. But this has given me a lot to think about. And there's a break next week. Of course, there's a break next week. So obviously, it gives a lot of, of time 
to figure out what happened and speculate on what's happened in the timeline. And then I'll be back to discuss it in a video. So make sure to so make sure to look out for that video because I will be discussing all my thoughts there. Um, this has really given me a lot to think about. 200 years ago when the Fishman Island, he was downstairs. He was also down in the water, potentially. Anyways, look, I'm going to think about it. I'm going to come back. I'll have a video. I hope, thank you for reading. Uh, thank you for reading the chapter with me and um, sticking up with, and I don't even know what to, I don't even know how to English at this point. Um, oh, and just bear, bearing with me while I did another impromptu stream. I promise I will be back in a proper studio the next time we read a chapter together. So watch out for that too. Have a great weekend. Enjoy your Friday. Get a lot, um, get nothing done. Get whatever you want done. But enjoy the sun, enjoy the rain, whatever the weather is in your side of town. It's a very sunny day for me here. So I'm going to try to get some sun after I check out. But I'm going to have to pack up soon. So I shall go. Um, okay, for everyone else, it's Thursday night. It's Friday morning for me. So have a good sleep. Have a good night, enjoy your sleep, and then enjoy the Friday and the and the weekend. Okay, I'm going to go. Thanks for joining me. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.